Hi, my name is Morgan, and yesterday I had to make a really tough decision. The decision was whether to eat vegetables or not to eat vegetables. Personally, I prefer to not eat vegetables. But since they are good for my body, I had to make the tough choice of choosing to eat them. But that's how life is. Sometimes we have to make tough choices that we don't always like. But at the end of the day, we have to know what's best. We're still talking about choosing God's way and how God's way is always right. Simply put, God's way is the best way. Can you read that? God's way is the best way. Cool. Now, let's pass it over to my friend Carter so he can read us our Bible story. I'll see you after. Hey friends, let's jump up and worship God. Then settle back down for a great Bible story about Gideon's and Army and how God's way is always perfect. Bye! I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm just making sure this is ready for my niece. She's getting a new frog tomorrow, and we don't want it to be able to jump away. <laughs> Let's see. It's all done. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. That reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready. Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Ah, 
Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Gideon. One day, God said, take an army and go defeat the big, powerful Midianites. Now, Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So Gideon jumped, jumped, and went God's way. He got together the biggest army of men he could find. Ha <laughs> ha, look at all of them. They were ready to go. But God said, Gideon, you have too many men. Make the army smaller. Hmm. So Gideon said to the army, if anyone's afraid, you can go back home. Wow, that's a lot of men. How will they defeat the Midianites now? But Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So he jumped, jumped, and went God's way. The army was now ready to go again. But God said, there are still too many men. Make the army even smaller. Take them to the water and tell them to get a drink. Then God said, the men who put their faces down to the water should leave. The men who lifted the water to their mouth with their hands should stay. Now there were only a few men left in the army. But God said, go and fight, I will be with you. So once again, Gideon jumped, jumped, and went God's way. Charge! And what do you think happened? Did they win or lose? They won! Of course they did, because God's way is what? Perfect! <laughs> it's true. You know, sometimes when God asks us to do something, it doesn't always make sense. But we can trust that God's way is perfect. So we can jump, jump, and go God's way. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. Wow, I love being reminded about how God's way is the best way. Now, before you go, I'd love to give your family some next steps and say a prayer with you. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear God, thank you for making sure that your way is always the right way. And thank you for guiding us to make sure that we choose your way. We love you so very much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for being with me today. I loved it so much. I'll see you next time. Hi everyone. It's getting warmer and warmer and we want to continue to warm your preschoolers' hearts then by sharing God's word and great family fun activities with you all. That's why Faith Chapel Kids provides a family activity guide that will help you talk and play fun activities with your preschoolers this week. You can download it from the Facebook parent group or website or follow it right from your phone. This guide tells you what to say, guides you through a simple and fun activities, and it guides you through a time of prayer and so much more. You don't have to do it all at once, but everything is right at your fingertips when you need it. So please take a few moments to try it out or you will be amazed at how much your preschoolers are learning and growing safe right at home. We always have awesome services for the entire family every week. So check out our service times and be sure to join us. Every fourth Sunday, we get to see and talk with our friends and small group leaders in our live Zoom small groups. Check out the date and times listed and we'll see you then. Have an awesome day.